Alright, so, um, before I make this video, well, before I continue on with the video, I just want to say, oh, also, you know, my dog is down here, and, um, you know, I gotta keep her down here, because mom is kind of, you know, irritated, she's tired, so I have to keep her down with me, so if you hear noise in the background, that's just my dog, um, but yeah, I wanted to thank, um, before I get started, I wanted to thank, you know, personally, Onyx for, um, talking to me and stuff and helping me out because uh, I'm going to be really, you know, transparent. I had one of the, t I'm having one of the toughest weeks of my life. Um, I just lost my best friend. Um, well, lost contact with them, not lose as in he died, but lost contact with them. Um, and, you know, I'm not going to say anything bad about it because I was thankful for uh, every moment that we had, every phone call, um, every interaction because it, um, some of the best interaction, um, the best phone calls I've ever had in my life. And I don't take that lightly. They're some of the best I've ever had. They were funny, um, charismatic, um, informative. helpful just some of the best conversations I've ever had in my life with this person and I will I'll forever be grateful for that because I know that I'm probably never going to get that again and um I made a big mistake relying on uh this one one person for um everything and um doing that uh, really made me devastated. Um, like, when you lose somebody that is, like, your life, even even if you have other friends and you just give them all your attention and then when they leave, it hurts you. There's just no... There's no getting around it. Like, it hurts you. How do you... Um, how do you accept or, you know, get to the acceptance with something like that? You just don't. It's very... It's very sad. Um, I, and I never thought it's the day of it coming. Um, but I'm going to get to how that happened. So, um, I remember me and this person had a phone call. And, uh, the person expressed how their partner, um, didn't like me. And, um, it was over internet stuff. But basically, it ties into... How I on my a couple of my last videos how I talked about like the trolling, the catfishing and stuff. Well the catfishing they don't really know about, but the trolling they do know about and stuff. And um I trolled this one YouTuber and stuff and now the results were unintentional. It was not intended for that person to have a breakup. Um but they had a breakup um with their girlfriend and I remember it you know, I remember hearing about it. He was telling me that, like, I caused someone to break up. And I remember I was feeling devastated about it. Because I'm like, I wouldn't want that to happen to anybody. Like, imagine... I mean, you, I can't get anyone to imagine that. Because um, most people don't troll. But imagine, like... Or at least for a second, imagine that, like, you're trolling someone for the intent to make them laugh. And it has nothing to do with them breaking up. And... Or with them intending to break up. And then what ends up happening is that, like, you know... You joke with them, and, and you're, like, you know, joke, like, flirting with them, but pretending to be a woman or whatever, but flirting with them as in a joke to, you know, <laughs> to see if they'll decline. That's not even funny. I don't know why I'm... I'm not laughing, but, like, I'm just nervous because I can't control myself. And I'm, I'm nervous and sad at the same time. I don't know, but, yeah. Let me get back to it. Um. So, I may make the girlfriend break up because I... Like, imagine you're trolling somebody and, you know, you just play flirting. And then they play along, too. But then their girlfriend is, like, watching the stream. And then they message them. And then, you know, all of a sudden they break up. It's like, imagine how devastating that is for, for him. Because that sucks. Like, imagine, like, you don't expect to ever lose anyone so close to you like that in such a short amount of time. Um, 
But you know, it's sometimes in some situations it may take that one thing. Some relationships are so powerful. Um are powerful but not powerful at the same time that like that one thing can destroy everything and I'll never forget like I deeply regret doing that and then on top of that um my ex best friend's uh partner um also caught wind of everything and they didn't like me because of it they didn't like me because um of that even though I did explain to them that it was unintentional um they still didn't like me because of it and typically uh you know if someone didn't like me I I would let it roll off my back because I'm just like whatever typically with some with certain things I would let it roll off my back but you know I just feel like you know I'm a naturally good person in real life and um even my ex best friend would probably say that I'm pretty sure he would say that I don't see him not saying it if there's any criticisms it mostly would be about who what I do on the online side of things or what I did on the online side of things um and not so much my real life person because I've had a lot of real conversations with that person about my life about everything so if that person knows that I'm not um some loser some lunatic or something I mean, I'm not perfect, and I'm by no means, you know, an angel, and I will never proclaim to be any of those things. I will never pretend to be any of those things, because I'm none of those things. Um, I have issues in my life that are a little crippling, but I'm also, I also know I'm not a bad person. I legitimately have good intentions with just about everything I do, or almost everything I do, and if not, everything I do. But for realism, more like almost everything because sometimes things happen, but almost everything I do, I have good intentions in, so I would never intend for somebody else's life to be ruined because of, you know, my mistake or whatever, but, um, yeah, so their partner didn't like me, and it hurt my feelings a little bit because I was like, you know, damn, I wouldn't want my best friend's partner to hate me, you know, I just wouldn't want that, who wants that for something that is, that is untrue? Who, who wants that? Who wants that happening? Nobody wants that happening. Nobody, like, wants that to happen. Are you fighting a cost? I don't know. Should I should probably cut that out of the video, but I wouldn't want that to happen. I wouldn't want anyone's, you know, partner to break up, but, you know, it happened. You know, they broke up. I mean, they didn't break up. Well, no. Uh, the previous, the YouTuber broke up with the girlfriend because of me. And it happened unintentionally. Um, but what I was trying to say before, I'm sorry, I got distracted by my dog. But, um, I wish I was better at this. I wish I wasn't doing this on camera. I know it's going to be annoying for viewers because they're like, what is he doing? Um, yeah, so, uh, a person's partner didn't like me, and it got to me, because I would never want anyone to, like, dislike me for something like that. I just wouldn't want that happening. Because things like that, um, you know, if I was, like, or if I was, I felt, I feel like if I was doing something, like, really bad in real life, I feel like that maybe. In my mind, maybe that would justify her hating me, or disliking me, or whatever, but... I'm sorry, misgendered. Them disliking me, because it's partner, but... I figured it would, um... You know, it would justify in my mind that they would, you know, them disliking me. Unfortunately, um... That was a, you know, case of my online persona, or whatever. Or my behavior online, or whatever you know, causing someone to dislike me, and I tried to, t I tried to talk to them directly, and they were just putting up walls at me, they didn't want to hear anything I had to say, they didn't want to listen or anything, um, but the issue that I did have with that, though, was that that person said that I was, you know, 
angry that their partner was um that their best that my best friend was uh at the time was dating them and that is so that is such a fucking lie on so many in so many levels that's not the first partner that that person has had mind you that my best friend has had he's had several or a few not even several several would mean like five six seven eight but no it was about like three at the time of me meeting that person it was about three partners um But I've been happy for my best friend every time that they got uh, a new partner. Every time. I have never been angry. I have, you know, admitted that, you know, I thought that they were attractive or whatever. But, like, I never once was angry that they were in a relationship. Like, I found I found that to be kind of stupid. Now, it's one thing if you don't like me because of the online stuff. But do not allow your bias to you know, spread false information on my name. Because nobody was mad that you two were together. No one was mad that, that you were together with him. No one's mad about that. No one should be mad about that. If, if if a friend is angry with another friend for being with somebody else, they're not a good friend by default. What do you stop? They're not a good friend by default. They're not a good friend by default. They're not a good friend by default. Um, So... Please don't say that. Don't say that. That's untrue. That's a fucking lie. Um, but, you know, she had it out for me. And um, I kind of feel like because of... Well, I misgendered her again. I kind of feel like because of them, I basically don't have, like... That was kind of... Well, no. Part of the reason that me and that person aren't friends anymore is because of... Well, it's because of the history... Of the catfishing slash troll, well, more, mostly the trolling. The catfishing doesn't really affect, it doesn't didn't really affect him, but the trolling did. Um, I mean, he wasn't particularly affected by the trolling by himself because he said it didn't bother him, but he was telling me how you know the reputation could be ruined or whatever if you do that, and um, so it was more like my reputation for the trolling ruined the relation, ruined. Um, the chances of his girlfriend liking me, and since that got to me, and because I was, I wanted to do so much damage control, but not just with the girl, but like with the rest of the group. And then what ended up happening was that um, the group just hated me. The group overall just hated me, or most people did. And uh, and how I found out that uh, my ex best friend, um, you know no longer was talking to me, was that, uh, I was leaving, I'm not even gonna say the name of the city, I don't even know if I call it a city, I guess I'll call it a city, or a region, or whatever, so, or town, actually, maybe town's a little bit more, uh, better wording, so, it was like a suburban town, or whatever, um, and there was a bus for it, and, um, I had a fun time at a, you know, karaoke night, or whatever, I had fun. I had fun traveling. I had, you know, I had such a great time. And, um... I knew something was up. When I looked back, something was up anyway. I, I figured something was up. And, um... I remember, uh... Calling that person earlier in the day. They didn't answer. I think I called them previously. They didn't answer. I called, um... After I left the trip, and they didn't answer. I mean, after I left the trip, he didn't answer. He, they didn't answer. So, um, something told me to check Instagram. So I check Instagram. I check the DMs part because you know I was curious. I was curious to see what you know talk to him because I wanted to send him a message and say that um, you know um, I had a great time in town, in a suburban town. I had a great time in the suburban town. Um, I had fun. I really enjoyed myself. Um, I was going to send them parts of the performances that were happening. That I did. I wanted to send all of that. Um, so what ended up happening was that I checked Instagram. Instagram said, you know, because you, you know we hit someone's name in DMs. Just, you know, to try to talk to them, it's going to say, like, you know, their username and then, uh, 
profile name at the at the top of the screen, at the top of the screen. But um, I checked. Uh, my eyes had peered a little bit to the top, and I noticed it said Instagram user. And for any of you that doesn't know, if you're blocked on Instagram, and you haven't checked their profile yet or something, or you're blocked at all, and you don't check their profile, but like you check from DMs or whatever, it will say Instagram user. Um, it'll say Instagram user, so it'll say that, uh, meaning that that was blocked. So I checked it. It was a blank page, uh, username. So yeah, blocked them there. I wanted to check the other. I checked the other apps or the other social medias that I followed on, um, that we followed each other on. I check Twitter. Twitter is a lot more obvious when you're blocked. It will tell you, like, like you can't send direct messages to this user. And check their DMs, saw that, said I can't send direct messages. Um, saw the profile. It just makes me so upset. It makes me so upset because uh, I never saw this day coming. Me and that person, me and them were so close. We, we, I think we even said to each other that we would never do anything like that. But, um, and I'm not deflecting any blame. I'm not, not taking responsibility for anything I did. Like, yes, the trolling and stuff was wrong. Um, like, looking back at it now, like, after, every, after everything went down, um, I admit the trolling was wrong and I admit I should have never done that. Um, and... It was damaging to the reputation. Not not really with my trust with him, with him because he wasn't very like, because he's a, he's different than most people. Like he doesn't care about about uh, like he doesn't care about that stuff directly, but he will tell somebody you know it's not a good look you know to do that. Um, but when he told me about it, I didn't feel it at the time. I wasn't. I didn't really, I still didn't really understand, like, the feeling of it, like, I didn't get it, because I always just told myself, like, I'm a good person on the inside, which is not something I'm saying just to say, I mean, I really am, um, my friend Onyx, you know, who, at the time of this video, me and him are talking, we're on good terms, everything, he had told me, like, you know, you are a good person and stuff, and I've sent him, I've talked, I had several conversations with him about my life. He and, you know, my ex-best friend know a lot of things about me. Um, like, they, if honestly, if they wanted to write an essay on me, or what they thought of me, they absolutely could. Like, in and out, like, talking about my life, not necessarily whatever it was I did online, but talking about specifically my life, they could easily write an essay on me. Like, it, they could easily do it. So I definitely given them both a lot of information about me. Um, so... I think Onyx, because I had such a hard week this week, and he kind of, he helped me out a lot, um, going through what I was going through, because, uh, I was just, I honestly was devastated, um, and I'm mad at myself for, um, ever doing that stuff, I'm mad at myself for, um, not putting my music Get out of here. I'm mad at myself for not putting my music... Stop, Patch, stop. You need to stop. Let me do this. So, I'm mad at myself for not putting my music... Um, you know, not really talking about my music more. But also on top of that, not um, behaving myself online. With the way that I was um, acting like, trolling and stuff like that, and, um, I should have just not did it, I should have, but, you know, you only, there's only a certain time where, like, you're only gonna change properly when things happen to you, when, you know, you lose things, when people start leaving, when people say things to you, when people talk about you, because those things are hurtful, I mean, I, I mean, it's not fun to go online and... You know you're a good person on the inside, but everybody's just talking about you. And they're saying bad things about you that, like, aren't true to who you are in, in real life. And that shit can really hurt in the long run.
but I wanted to thank Onyx, you know, for helping me. Because he really made my week a lot, a lot, a little bit better. I'm not even going to say a lot, because it wasn't, still wasn't a great week regardless, but, I mean, he made my week a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, thank you to Onyx. But, you know, this whole thing has humbled me because it taught me, you know, nothing in life is truly guaranteed. Um, no matter how good a person is, or, um... How much they say they won't leave you, or how we'll be best friends forever, or, or any old thing like that. Um, it can truly. Sorry, my throat hurts. Get out of here. It can truly. Um, it can truly. I'm trying to think. My dog is distracting me. It can truly. It's truly not guaranteed. Nothing in life is guaranteed ever. Nothing in life will ever be guaranteed. Ever. Nothing's ever truly guaranteed. Things are, um... You're like, you're bound to lose something or someone at some time, no matter what. Doesn't matter if it's through death. Doesn't matter if it's through, um... You grow out of each other. Doesn't matter if it's through the timing of things or what comes in. And... Um, I'm not trying to... to deflect blame or anything or anything like that or not take responsibility because I fully own what I did um in the friendship because the things I did like you know when we were playing tech and I would cuss so much and while even even if he doesn't care about that stuff too much I don't think you know is right like for someone like me if I'm playing a game regardless of what game it is to be cussing like that or to be cussing someone out or whatever like I don't feel like that's okay for me to do and any time I did it, I apologized because I felt bad. Like, I don't want to treat someone like that, especially someone like him. Because I, you know, I, I, had, I had great respect for him and still do. And I just don't think that was right. Um, and I will forever be grateful for all those conversations, all those things we talked about. Because I learned so much from him. And I learned so much about... Um, life about his career, his everything. I mean, he's really good at um, karate, and he's just very talented. I, I, when I, on my, um, on the account that, like, he blocked me on, um, like, my main account or whatever, I, uh, checked my messages, and I, and I remember it was a video he sent months back when he stopped. I remember it was a video he sent months back when he, um, showed me a video of him, you know, having an interaction with the student when they were sparring. And I remember looking back at it, his speed is insanely good. Like, he's very fast. His brain moves very fast. He thinks of things very fast. Even the way that he would, like, troll me back or whatever when we had, like, our troll battle. Like, that was honestly fucking fun. And I remember when he would, um, troll me in Tekken. That was fun, too. Um... I honestly remember all those moments, and I just think to myself, I'm just like, I, I feel like this whole thing, I think, amplified or increased the chances of us ending because of someone getting a relationship with somebody else. I feel like that was the cause of it. Um, it was just insane because... You know, one day they're here, then they're gone. And I just remember all those moments, and I'm like, how could it just all go away like that? Like, that was just a lot of stuff in such a short amount of time. I mean, this was like a nine month, ten month, probably a year. And we spent so much time together. Like, we spent time with each other, like, almost every day. We text each other almost every day. Um,. We were there for each other through our hardest, some of our most difficult times, and, um, this is a case where I feel like the internet, well, but I did the internet, um, the overall the internet, and then, you know, a partner being in the picture, I feel like really, um, fractured the relationship we had, really fractured it, um, and again, the point of this video is not even to drag anyone, 
it's really just to, you know, reflect, get my emotions out, because the truth is, this was a very difficult thing to even go through, um, and, you know, when you go through stuff like this, I think the thing everybody wants to tell you is to move on, you know, it happened to you, like, like, you know, you made a mistake, but move on, or whatever, and it's like, that might be, that's probably easy for somebody else to say because they didn't go through it. They weren't in the relationship or whatever. They weren't in it. But, you know, you expect things like these to last forever in a way. You don't expect to lose people. You just don't. I mean, you can expect it, but, like, to prepare for it, that's a whole other thing. Like, you just don't ever expect for anything like that to happen. You never expect anything like that to happen. You just never do. Because losing people is not fun. It's not something we want to face. Um, especially when they're, like, our best friend. Like, we don't want to face that. And I just remember everything. And I just, you know, I'll always remember the good times that we had. I always remember when we talked on the phone and um, calling him. Like, I miss those things. Like, I miss, like, coming, like, you know, getting on the train and talking to him about my day or um you know just having just conversations just normal conversations about like life or what's going on what song am I writing um how am I feeling or am I okay um all those things that are very those are very simple things but in a relationship that you both enjoy I mean um those are just very you just never know when those things are going to disappear. And, um, when they did disappear, it did break me because I felt like, uh, felt like my life was over. I felt like it was over. I really felt like my life was over. I felt like my life was just over. Like, I had it all and then it disappeared one day. So, this leads me all to believe that, like, it was all over a partner and, you know, online. And, um, it just makes me realize that cherish everything before it goes. But also expand, because if you don't, things like this are going... Because things like this can happen, and they can happen for less obvious reasons. And sometimes they happen for obvious reasons. So life is just so unpredictable. You never you you never know when you're gonna lose someone or something. You never know when you're gonna lose it. You ne you just never know. And um I don't wanna take back any of those nights or those times I had, but like I just wish I didn't over like um rely on that person too much for everything like I just felt like with me and him it was just me against the world not really me against the world but like I wanted them to win so much like every situation yeah I wanted him to win because he was just that good of a person I lost him because of a partner and that will forever be hurtful I, like I'm still grieving about it to this day um I'm still grieving. I'm still grieving. Like, you, you guys have no idea how bad... I want him to just call me... And say, hey, I was just pranking you. Or, hey, um... You know, I'm done hating you right now. You know, I forgive you, Damien, or something. I, I just want him to call me with that so bad because... I fucking miss that shit. I miss it so much. And I'm just glad that I have other friends in my life, but that still doesn't take away from what I lost. And just going forward, I just told myself after that whole thing. I mean, I told myself before then, but definitely after it, you know. Not that I didn't mean it before, but like, I 100% really am sticking to it now. I'm never trolling or catfishing ever again. And I fucking mean that by the bottom of my heart. I'm never doing that ever again. It's caused my life so much damage. 
so much like potential betrayal, so much um, negativity, so much, um, so many issues. It's just been so much um, stuff that I went through. It's been so many things. So many things that I went through. So many things that I went through. And I just know if, I, if we took all that stuff away, nobody would have problems with me. People would love my content. Um, they would love my personality. They would love everything I do. Or love most of it. No one ever loves everything you do. But they would talk to me. They would have legitimate conversations. They wouldn't, like, everything wouldn't be about, you know, oh, he trolls, excuse me, oh, he trolls, oh, he does this, oh, he does that. Um, cause my, cause I, cause it's like, literally, when you think about it, it's all internet stuff. Like, no one can say anything bad about, like, who I am in real life. And it's just frustrating. Like, who wants to go online and read those things about yourself? Every day, like it hurts you. It, it um sorry, I thought she was pooping. It hurts you. Like you don't want to go online and see those things about yourself. You don't want to go online and read those things because that's not fun. That really can affect your mental health. And it can lead to some kind of like identity stuff going on because you're like, Well, I'm not that person. I'm not that person that, you know, is hating the internet. Even my ex best friend would say that that I'm not a bad person or whatever. Because they admit it, you know, it's not it's not it's not the worst thing ever. You're not the worst person ever, and you know, you definitely are really good. You definitely have good intentions and all types of stuff like that. Um, but um, yeah. I'm still working to just grieve on all this stuff. It's not easy. I feel very regretful. I feel insanely regretful. Like, I remember I was on the bus and I was seeing the block screens and everything. You know, when you're blocked on these apps. And I just was saying, this has to be a joke. This has to be a joke. There's no way that he would do that. There's no way he would do that. He would never do that. Stop. Get from over there. Like, he's joking. He would never do that. He would never... He would never do that. This has to be a prank. Like, this has to fucking be a prank. He would never do that. He would never, um... Do that. Like, this has to be a prank. This has to be a prank, because... I was just thinking to myself, I'm like... Because they said he would never block me. And I don't... I didn't feel like I did anything that horrible. But... What happens is in these relationships, you know, if their partner doesn't like you, that can usually be a sign. That can usually be a bad sign for the future if you do anything. Because if there wasn't any partner, he and I would still be friends. He and I would still be friends 100%. And to be honest with you, I feel very, I feel very angry with that person. With the, um, not, not him, but I feel very angry with the partner. I'm angry at them. I'm angry at them because they hate it. Because, you know, while they had legitimate reason to dislike me or whatever, I also kind of felt like they weren't willing to also hear me out or really talk much about anything. It was always just, you know, it was all just, you know, well, you know, what you did wasn't very nice and stuff, but then it was all this other stuff. It was like, stop flirting with my man or whatever. Even though... He allows me to kind of do it, um, because he doesn't care. Not, not because out of malice, but, like, he's always been that way. And, truthfully, if you have issues with, um, with someone about that, talk to, talk to the person, talk to your partner with that, and then talk to me about it, because you came to me about it, because I explained to you that I, um, was not flirting with him, or was not angry, wasn't even angry, I, because actually, I actually toned it down, once I knew they were in a relationship, because I knew, you know, because again, even though he doesn't give a fuck, um, others do. So I had to keep that shit in mind 
So I stopped, you know, the second they got, I, I knew they were together, I stopped, you know, you know, joking with him the way that I do. Because that's usually, it's not even really flirting, like, we just joke with each other really and truly. Um, but he's a person who doesn't really care. But where he did care was that, you know, if his partner is upset, he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that she's, that they're happy. Otherwise, otherwise it can lead to things like this, like things like this happening. And I just want to let, you know, my future, like in my future, like when it comes to future relationships, um, I'm going to do my best to make sure that everything is right. And I'm going to make sure I listen to everything because I also feel like part of the reason things ended too was because, you know, I couldn't handle someone disliking me because of my past. I couldn't. Because I wanted to be forgiven. I felt guilty about that part of my life. And I wanted a redemption arc for so bad. I, I really wanted a redemption arc. Um, and I just feel like all this, you know, stuff going on could just be really, um, really unnecessary. And he told me, you know, it wasn't necessary. It was like, you know, you know. I get you under damage control, but like I told you, it was unnecessary because, um, you know, just change for the future or whatever. Just change for the future. Stop patches. Stop. Just change for the future or whatever. The huh? I'm getting this. I hate living with people, man. Cause like this video is just all over the place, and it doesn't have to be. But all these fucking things are just getting in my way. Anyway, so a relationship was ruined because of online shit, and I just want you know I just want my future relationship to never be affected by anything like this, cause I'm not trolling or um, catfishing anymore. Now, if I see a video of someone else trolling, I will tell them, you know, that's not a good idea, you shouldn't do that. And I'll give them a legitimate, you know, synopsis of why you shouldn't do it, because I'm going to tell them my life story, and I'm going to educate them not to do it. Because um, it's not so much that, like, you know, it's just not worth the laugh, and that's what my friend was telling me. It's not worth the laugh, it's not worth going through all this, because nobody, no one wants to lose their best friend for all this. No one wants to lose the best friend at all, period. But I lost him, and I'm going to forever be, you know, upset about that. Like, I'm going to be upset about that for a long time. I, I, I feel like it didn't need to happen, but maybe it did, because then maybe I wouldn't, you know, grow as much, or wouldn't really see it as a reason to want to grow now, but... I still don't think it needs to happen. I, I really don't. I, I don't. I don't like that it happened. I'm very frustrated with her. With him. I'm frustrated. No, with them. I'm frustrated with them about, about having this all happen. Because if it weren't. If they weren't around. If they weren't a thing. If they weren't connected to that whole thing. In any way. Me and that person would still be friends. Because. As much as I. You know the trolling was problematic. It could be changed. It, it absolutely could be. I don't know. I don't, I really don't have any words. Thinking about it now just gets me upset. Um, and again, this is not meant to be like a hate video or anything like that. This is not meant to attack anyone in particular. This is meant to just express my emotions that I've been feeling for the past week. Because I've felt um, anxious. I've felt angry. I've felt... Um, uneasy inside I felt missing like I remember I was at work and one of my coworkers was asking me he was like you know are you okay you you don't seem you don't seem like you're in a good mood or whatever and then I told him I'm like I'll tell him later and I told him this thing later and then he got it um yeah it's not fun I, 
I would, I honestly, I would cry, but I'm too angry to cry, but then too, like, uneasy to get any tears out. It's all the, it's complicated, but I'm just thinking about it. I'm just like, damn, why did I lose that like I did? That was a loss. Like, shit, like, that was a loss. That was a real loss. That was a loss. That was a loss. But. I just hope that me and him become close one day. Or become close again one day. But knowing him, I know that he he did express before, you know. If people leave my life or if I let them go, um, it's usually like forever or something. I don't really go back. Um, and... Yeah. I will give that person a space. Um, because obviously if you block someone or you don't want people asking, you don't want to ask a person that still does at you about that person. Because they're going to be like, he's locked. It's over. But I'm just going to give it some time. But it's still devastating. Like, I'm still angry. I'm still upset. I still feel missing. I feel like I lost my brother. It's a lot. I, I can't really explain it. I'm just going to just end the video. I feel like I'm rambling too much. And this video is already 40 minutes long. It's made a little bit longer due to patches and stuff like that. So I'm just going to just end it here. Um, I don't. This is very unfocused. And my throat is dry because I've been talking for a while. So I'm just going to just end it. But thank you for getting this far in.